Hey guys, we're going to do a quick video on a 2017 Road Glide here. Diamond Audio System. Diamond Audio MP694 6x9s. In the lids. Need a Denim magnet. There's your crossover. Quick disconnects. It's got the MO75T shallow horns. MS Pro 65 mids. In the fairing. One sound digital, 800.4, Evo X, four channel. Got two channels, running your highs front, and the, the highs in the six by nine. The two rear channels are running the mids in the front, mids and the six by nines, they're separate. So you can do it several ways. You can take one channel, you can run each corner of the bike, each rear of the bike, or you can separate them like we do it. Personally, we like to separate them. We want to tune our horns separate from our mids. We want to adjust the gains the way we want it to be done. We, we feel we could tune it better that way. That's just our way of doing it. So I'm gonna do a quick video and then we're gonna go over something a little different that we haven't done in the past. We're gonna talk about other brands of speakers and I'll explain to you about that here in a minute. But before I start, uh, the music could be from artist Tom McDonald. We've got his uh, approval to use his music. We're going to use his music and the link will be down in the description to link to his channel if you like his music you want to hear more um and we're going to see what kind of decibels this bike pulls so let's see what we got here i'm not a youtube rapper come on give me credit i don't need to do reactions to get views okay i said it not a label rapper i'm way too offensive go ahead and call me clickbait i'm in millions in the bank i know Me. 
cook. All these rappers hate me. If they don't, I'll say they maybe should. HOG, the army, they say crazy is as crazy does. So watch yourself, blood on our hands. Don't bother us, we bathe in blood. I hate the mob. How dare you call me a rapper when all these rappers don't have nothing left to say? I hate the mob. Again, that's the artist Tom McDonald. I think I, I wasn't really paying too close attention to the meter. I think I saw 124. Uh, that's 124 decibels, guys. That's on a cheap, you know, $10 meter here off of Amazon. So let's talk about speakers. You know, I I, I talked to a lot of customers today, and call just say 50 because it's at least 50 customers, and you guys are looking for sound systems. And you're looking across the United States, and you're from the United, all across the United States, looking for sound systems. And you guys are talking to a lot of people, and you're getting a lot of different stories. So I'm just going to break it down and make it really simple. And I carry a lot of different speakers. I do. I'll put my money on Diamond Audio. It doesn't matter the brand. Bama, M-Mats. Hertz, it doesn't matter the brand. I will put my product, well, it's not my product, but I'll put my installs up against any brand of speakers. It doesn't matter what it is. And I'm explaining to you why I feel my product is going to outperform other people's product. So a few customers today. One customer talked about MMAT's PA601. Okay. Well, first, I'm going to compare that speaker with a Ground Zero. GZCF 65 SPL. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket science, you know. To, I mean, I don't know. You know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So, there's no way on God's green earth that that speaker is going to outperform this speaker. It doesn't have a chance. That's an MP654 coax horn speaker. It doesn't have even the slightest chance in the world. And I'll call out the people that think it does here at the end of this video. And it definitely doesn't stand a chance against MO75T shallow horns in a grill, whether it be a street glide or a road glide. And just for the people that call us wanting to buy these grills, it's just not a horn put in a grill. We've got a piece of CNC backplate that we use to hold this horn in place. It's not just a grill with a hole cut in it and some screws put through it. It is a custom design and it's a custom design install. It takes time to do this. Whether you got a 13 or below road glide, it takes time to do these guys. And these are CNC pieces of equipment that we use to do it. So this outperforms this in a six and a half. When it comes to a six by nine, this is your top of the line six by nine, the MP694 coax horn. I'll put this baby up against anything anything that's available in the market right this moment. So, no way, guys, is that going to outperform MS Pro 65 mid-range. Okay, even the mids got a vent on it to keep it cool. There's no vent here. You know, we've already talked about this in my previous video, Hertz against Diamond Audio, and they don't have a lot of vents in a lot of their products. So, take that for what it's worth. Now, Ground Zero, just take the same thing I just said and repeat it because same scenario. And that's as far as I'm going to go with, that's as far as I'll go with that. You guys can see the difference there. Is there a difference or is it just a color? <clears throat> now let's talk about the guys that want to spend $900 on a pair of Focals. So let me make this really simple. Sure, all these other brands of speakers are going to sound great. And you're probably going to be happy with them because it's a big difference from what you have now. But there's no way a tweeter will outperform a horn. It's not, a, not even possible of any brand. It's physically impossible. This is a horn. This st starts at a level that a tweeter is not even capable of producing. So why spend $900 on a set of speakers when you can spend, with the mid-range, $650-ish and get somebody that outperforms this? In, in every way. So that's Focal. 
I copied that off of the Crutchfield. Hey, they're $900 speakers. There you go, $900. Okay, let's talk about ARC Audio. You want to spend $449 instead of those speakers, those Moto 602s? Hey, I'm sure they're going to sound great. Send less money on this speaker that's going to walk all over this speaker that doesn't even have a chance. And I, and I like our, you know, you're very creative guys. And I like your first paragraph, you know, designed to offer jaw dropping efficiency. The new Moto 602 HD delivers more output per watt than our amazing older speakers and almost twice as much as competing products. Really? Hurt? Really, Ark? How much money you got? Let's test the output of this speaker, MP654s, against your speaker. So you made the statement, Ark, not me. But I'll tell you what, I'll put 10 grand up that, that on my Diamond Audio speaker is going to walk all over your speaker. 10 grand, Ark. Pick a bike, put a meter on it, 10 grand. 702 motoring, dark audio. Really? Because if you're gonna make a statement like that, almost twice as much? <laughs> so so you're gonna be better than this, but almost twice as much. <laughs> okay, yeah, well your price is almost twice as much, but <laughs> okay, now let's talk about Hertz. Listen guys, I'm gonna make this really simple. Really simple. These are silk tweeters. They're silk. They're, they're designed for a, a quality sound, jazz type music. Someone's looking for a really high quality sound. And, and I know you're probably looking for the same thing on a Harley, but at 80 miles an hour, <laughs> you, you could forget it. The little soft silk domes, gone. <laughs> you need a horn. You need a horn to keep up with your the front system. These, this thing's put on 124 decibels. How is this going to keep up with the front? Well, I, I suppose if you have Hertz speakers in the front, it probably would. <laughs> but we're, we're beyond that. We're, like, like I said in my last video, we're well past this stuff, guys. Don't spend this kind of money on this speaker. And, and, then, and then if you want to take it a step further, I got a back, picture of a back, back of the speaker here. I don't. Why not, Hertz? <laughs> well, here, guys, listen. Look how small that magnet is. And I know a lot of people are going to say, hey, it's nidudinium. It's a better quality than a regular magnet. Sure, it is. It's a, it's a rare earth metal. And, and ounce per ounce, that material costs more than this material on this magnet here. Okay? But I promise you, even the MS69CX coaxial sub will walk all over that speaker. Walk all over that speaker. You need some type of a bright... Even if it's a, not going to use a horn, you need a tweeter. You need something that's titanium, that's got some silver in it. Not, not this soft, soft stuff. You know, you, you guys aren't soft guys, and you're not riding a Harley because you're a soft guy. <laughs> you know, you guys want sound out there. And, and, and I tell you what, when people are out there running their system full blast or, or you know, running it hard all day long, traveling from state to state, the, the, these magnets, these small magnets, is not the way to go. You know, Diamond Audio has new didium, but, but they sure didn't use a small magnet, a tiny baby magnet. Look at the size of that thing. Look at, and I sold, I've sold hundreds of pairs of these across the country and never has a magnet melted. Sure, we get some warranties every once in a while that we take care of, but people abuse these speakers a lot too, but magnets don't melt. You, that magnet's going to melt on that speaker. I guarantee you run a thing hard for hours, that melt, magnet's going to melt, just like the rock for Fosgates do. Okay, th th this is not the answer. Th this is, you know, keep in mind when manufacturers come out with a new product, they plan it several years in advance. So it's been several years since Diamond Audio has released this product. So when Diamond Audio was doing this, Hertz was wanting to do some Neo magnets. Make it easier for install, not so heavy. People are complaining about heavy speakers on the saddlebags. I'll tell you what, th 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 this speaker is not all that heavy, you know, uh, to affect your saddlebag. I'll put it on the scale right now. And we'll see exactly how heavy the speaker is. 3.35 pounds. That's all the speaker weighs. So two speakers, you got seven pounds. Is that, that's heavy? Sure, maybe the Hertz weighs a little bit less, but you're not going to feel the difference. Not, not to sacrifice performance. 
Guys, listen, when you're out there shopping around, you're not going to find a plethora of this equipment across the United States. And let me explain to you why. Several things are happening right now. First thing is, there are several manufacturers overseas that have issues, especially when it comes to electronics, amplifiers. There, there's a chip manufacturer that, that burned down in Japan that has that apparently the United States uses these chips in everything we build that's electronic. There's not even a new car available. Have you guys noticed that? No new cars, no dishwashers, no refrigerators, no PlayStations, no amplifiers, okay? These manufacturers are back order amplifiers for six months. We haven't received a Pioneer, a Kenwood shipment, even an Alpine shipment in three months with radios. It hasn't happened. We're out of amplifiers, we're out of radios because of this issue. This brand, Sound Digital, is made in Brazil. They don't have the same issue that we have coming from the other part of the country, of the world. So that's why we have these amplifiers. We have these amplifiers because most of the Diamond Audio is on national back order. Most of it is for six plus months. This line is made in Brazil. We have access to this line, no problem. And honestly, this amp puts out a lot more power and a smaller footprint. Awesome amplifier. I'm not gonna say it's any better than Diamond Audio. I'm just gonna say it's even. We, listen, we love the Diamond Audio brand. Everybody knows that. We stand behind it. But right now, Sound Digital is what we're using because it does have more power. It's smaller. It's easier to install. And it rocks. And that's what's on this bike right here. One four channel running eight speakers. It's four in the front. Those two 6x9s have a mid and high input. That's four speakers in the rear. Hey, we also have Diamond Audio face masks when you buy Diamond Audio from us. And Sir and Vega face masks if you buy Sir and Vega until we run out. Hopefully, we never have to use these things again. But... We'll see. But listen, guys, I just want to, I just want to break it down to you on, the, on these other brands of speakers. This is 124 decibels. You saw it. You heard it. It's a simple, pro simple system. So these people that think their product is better, well, I'll tell you what. A friendly call out. Put your system together. Put a meter on it so we can see. M mats, ground zero, hertz, whatever the case may be. If it's better, put a meter on it. Show us that it's better. And hey, if it is, I'm gonna say congratulations. But I'll put my money on Diamond Audio because I know what these do. And I know how loud this bike is when I'm demoing it. This bike is loud and it's crystal clear. And that's what you want when you're on the road. Not no self dome tweeters and some little, little baby magnets that's half the, size, half the size of this. That's not what you want. You want something that's gonna keep up with the front. You want six by nines, when you're doing 85, 90 miles an hour, you can still hear those six by nines, and you can. You can when they have horns on them. You put tweeters, especially a silk dome tweeter, it is never gonna happen. <laughs> you're, you're, you're never gonna happen. At low speed, sure. But this is the setup, guys. I'll put my money on it. Diamond Audio, 100% all the way. Other shops, it's a friendly call out. If you feel different, because I mean, hey, Put a meter on it. Let's see it. Open up the saddlebags. Let's see what's in it. Let's see the fairing. Let's see what's in it. I got one mid, one horn. One mid, one horn. One pair of six by nines. One four channel amp. That's it. That's the truth. I'm calling out all the other shops. You say you got better product than Diamond Audio? Show us. Don't just show me. Show us. Show the customers that call you. Show them. Hey. My product's better than Diamond Audio, and let me show you why. So I'm calling those shops out. It's a friendly call out. I'm not unhappy with any shops. Everybody has a right to do business in this world, but I know what I sell. I know what I sell, and I know what it sounds like. And I know whenever I demo it on any of these bikes that come in here, <laughs> any of these bikes that are here, well, it's all the same stuff. It's simple. This is a beautiful bike, by the way. It really is a beautiful bike. It's simple, guys. One pair of six by nines. This guy, we put a shallow horn in here. Just, you know, just because. Look, a little extra, a little trick. Doesn't take much room. One, one amplifier. There it is. This is your answer. This one's next. Delivering that one today. Delivering this one. Starting this one. This is it, guys. Diamond Audio. Sound Digital. 702 Motoring in Las Vegas. The shop that demos their bikes with a meter. Talk to you soon.